Planning a trip can be overwhelming. Flights, hotels, packing lists, what to do. I mean, really, it's a lot and who has the time? But what if you have a helper that can do all this with just a few mouse clicks and a couple questions? Interested? I will show you how. Let's go. Hello, I'm Dave and welcome to Smart Tech for Any Age. Today, I'm going to show you my personal formula for using chat GPT to plan my trips, step by step. If you're a senior, retiree, or just someone that wants a better way to organize travel, this video is for you. We'll cover how to find your destination, flights, hotels, and many other details, all with the help of ChatGPT. And by the end, you have a clear cut formula on how to take the stress out of travel planning to make it exciting rather than overwhelming. Let's get started. Okay, first, let's get some ideas of where we want to go. Some of you might have that in mind already, but some of you just want to be somewhere else. ChatGPT is perfect for these brainstorming sessions. Let's try a prompt like this. Can you suggest relaxing places to visit in the fall? This is a very general question, but we'll see what we get and we will be fine moving forward. In just a couple of moments, we have a very detailed list worldwide, actually, of great places to go in the fall. These are tranquil, crisp, and a break from the ordinary. Some cultural gems. Let's see what we got. We have a lake in Finland. We have a national park in Montenegro. We have Spain. We have the UK. And this is some pretty exotic stuff, Italy or Japan. And then it describes each of the places and giving it a rationale of why it's relaxing in the fall. And then it gives a little quick comparison table of why it works, remote and quiet, rustic and peaceful. That sounds so nice. And it kind of gives you a no sugar coating aspect of what you really want. If you just want to unplug totally, you go to these places or whatnot. And it gives some links to some articles. So helpful. It's like asking a well-traveled friend. Let's notice that a little bit. And let's just say, keep it in the United States. And also like, I prefer nature and not too hot. This is part of the interactivity portion that ChatGPT is really awesome. We can just have like an ongoing conversation with it. In just moments, we got some wonderful locations based in the US with nature not too hot. Smoky Mountains, Maine, other mountains, Telluride in Colorado, and the list goes on. And here's a comparison table of temperatures, just exactly perfect for a fall trip. So for the rest of this video, let's just pick the Great Smoky Mountains and we'll go from there. Hi, are you interested in a simple, downloadable, and free PDF file that teaches you how to go from a beginning chat GPT user to semi-pro? Well, I made one for you and you get it now, right now, by clicking the very top link below. It's called Chat GPT Guide for Seniors, explained in plain English. Grab it right now, all for free. Now let's get back to learning. Once we pick a destination, let's work on a daily plan. Let's try a prompt like this one. Plan a gentle four day sightseeing trip to the Great Smoky Mountains for two adults. And here we go. A gentle four day plan. Let's check it out. We arrive to the Sugarland Visitor Center. It kind of, kind of tells us what to do the rest of the day. For that night, we have dinner at the one of the many casual restaurants in Gatlinburg. And then day two, we have walks. 
waterfalls on day three. And we go on this place called the Warren Fork Motor Nature Trail. Sounds awesome. Now remember, the more details you give it, the better it'll fit your needs. So you can try details like, I walk with a cane, or we love gardens, or even we want our days even more simple than this. Remember, ChatGPT is happy to tailor and give you a custom plan. Okay, next, after a full day running around, we're gonna need a place to relax. So let's find some accommodations and get some ideas from ChatGPT. Let's paste in a prop like this one. And keep in mind, we're continuing a conversation on the same thread as we've been using because it remembers the context in which we have been talking about. Can you recommend senior friendly hotels near Gatlinburg for under this budget? And after thinking for a little bit, it's telling us that it's totally doable and we're flexible on the dates and don't mind staying in nearby towns like Townsend and Pigeon Forge, which tells me that our original city is a little higher budget than, than, than this one. But let's see what we got. Um, so we have areas, the hotel names, uh, some of the nightly rates and why it is senior friendly. Single story is always good. Um, easy parking, free breakfast. Who does not love that? And it kind of tells the distance from Sugarland. Perfect. A lot more information. It kind of, kind of tells you and gives you some little tips even to stay under budget. I love this. And of course, it's super helpful and it offers to help us check out the exact dates, whether it is available on any of these hotels. Remember, ChatGPT is a tool and it does not book rooms for you. So always do your homework and read some reviews on anything that it suggests. Let's move on. The next thing I want to talk about is transportation. How to get there and once you're there, how to get to your hotel. Now, working on flights and things like that deserves its own video. So I'm going to save that just for that topic. But for now, let's find out how to get to a hotel from the airport using a prop like this. What's the best way to go from the airport to my hotel, Marshall's Creek Rest Motel? And I just kind of chose this very top one as this example. Okay, it proceeds to tell us that Marshall's Creek is a, it's a small virtual style motel. It's a few blocks off the main strip. And here's the closest airport and gave us various options like rent a car, airport shuttle, taxi, or ride share apps like Uber. And it gives its final recommendations of what to do. And I believe for this type of trip to the mountains, renting a car gives you the most flexibility. But you present it with all the options so you can make the best informed decision for you. Okay, and here's a bonus one on transportation. This one's about having a day trip. So you can ask, are there any day trips or group tours for seniors? And it sounds like there are a lot. So absolutely, there are many, many senior friendly day trips. Um, we get to go for uh, eco tours like this for about this much. It's small group, senior friendly, and this is what we do there. And there's the classic motor coach group tour that we get to stay in the Smokies. That sounds amazing. And many other choices, whether we like nature or arts. We have a full table of how to compare. So it sounds like we have a lot of options for trips. All right, our next topic is packing lists. And sometimes I feel overwhelmed to know exactly what to pack and I end up overpacking everything. I know some of you guys relate. So the best way to do this is just simply ask ChatGPT what to pack. What should I pack for this trip, five days for the season I'll be there? So it knows the time of year and it will suggest and recommend the proper clothing for the weather. Honestly, the packing list is my favorite because it knows and thinks of so many things that I would not have thought of. 
So here's a practical five day list. Um, here's some core items like shoes and day packs and water bottles and binoculars and all that. Wonderful. Um, medications and copies of prescription. Really useful. It kind of gives us clothing by the season and it gives a temperature range and it, because it gets a little cool at night, it looks like. So we need to be ready for that. Um, summertime is warmer and here's a packing list of what to do there. And by the time we get to September, November, it is downright chilly and crisp. So a few extra things to make life easier. Uh, phone charges and batteries, a good idea. And then at the end, even offers us a day-to-day -day outfit plan. So it takes out all the guesswork. Okay, the final part of my formula is always to review, adjust, and refine my plan. And after I'm happy, I'm going to print it out. Because I find that a few times I'm stuck somewhere with no Wi-Fi or no cell service. And it's great to have my itinerary and all my planning on a piece of paper. But first, let's do a refine. Let's work on a, let's try a prop like this one. Can you adjust my itinerary to include a little more rest time? And in just a couple of seconds, we have our original one of four days, but it's been refined and changed slightly to have a little more downtime. So a few less bullet points on a per day basis. There's more time to relax, enjoy the coffee, enjoy nature. Now, once you're happy with what you have, print out both your itinerary and your packing list. This way, in case anything happens, you actually have hard copies of this important information on paper. Now here are a couple of bonus tips for you. Always check with your hotels whether you qualify for senior discounts. A lot of places are happy to do that. We can all save a few extra dollars, right? Second, when you're researching on ChatGPT, do not share any personal information like credit card numbers, passport information, things like that. Just use it to brainstorm and get ideas, but do the booking yourself. Okay, that's it. That's my simple step-by-step -step travel formula using the HPT. So what is the first place you're gonna visit using this method? Let me know below, I would love to hear. If you like this information, I made for you a free downloadable PDF guide just for you. It's called Getting Started with ChatGPT for Seniors, explained in plain English. It's free, downloadable, you can grab it right now with the first link in the description below. If you enjoy this content, please feel free to click the like button and also the subscribe button. These little tiny actions really help small channels like this one grow. And here are a couple of videos that YouTube thinks you would enjoy. Please take a moment to watch it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.